What's up guys, welcome back to the Ria Ellen podcast. It's me, Ria Ellen. I cannot believe it's been this long. Like, it's been, what, a year? <laughs> I've still been making content and whatever, but honestly, guys, the podcast just felt like, I don't know, like a drag sometimes. Um, a lot of the time, I feel like I haven't got much to say. And I felt like having the podcast, like it kind of felt like I had to force myself to speak, if you know what I mean, like, if you have kids, do you know what, even if you don't have kids, like at the moment there's a lot going on in the world, in life, and just adulting as a whole, brethren, we're gonna have to turn that off, just adulting as a whole has just been a lot. And I was like, I just need to drop one of these plates. I had too many plates, I was juggling too many balls. That sounds mad. Um, and I was like, I need to drop one of these, one of these balls because it's too much and I had to start making content um, that made sense to me and that was easy for me and that I was also able to edit myself because Lloyd is very busy. Like he's actually a somebody besides being my husband. Mm -hmm. So it was hard for me to kind of gauge like what content I want to do. You guys know like I've changed a lot since my YouTube. So it's kind of like, I don't know I don't always want to shout. I don't always want to come on and rant. Sometimes I just want to sit in silence. And that's hard when you make content because you can't sit in silence because you need to eventually talk. So that's why I'm back. Um, what have I been doing? Living my life like it's golden. I've literally just been living life. Um, my son's birthday just passed yesterday. Oh my gosh, I nearly said last week. Yesterday, he turned five. Five, a whole five. I don't know what to do with him now. Like, he's actually a person. Like, what, where did five years go? Like, I don't like it. I don't like how fast time's going. And it's crazy because when I had him, the first year, I just felt like it flew by. And then it was like, oh, you're two. Oh, you're three. Oh, you're four. And it's like, brethren, can you just give me a second to breathe? It's too much. So we celebrated that yesterday. Um, he had school because you're going to school. My darling, you are going to school. Like that's why we have the weekend. So today we took them, um, the kids to a trampoline park and then we went for a cheeky Popeyes, you know what I mean? Um, and it was nice, yeah, we ended up buying them toys. But I say we, but I was the one who was like, let's go to TK Maxx, yeah, let's go see what they have. Because I just get really overexcited and I just want the boys to have the best life. And I am also the one who's constantly saying, you've got too many toys, but who's the one buying them and initiating the buying? Me. Uh, doesn't make any sense. Excuse me, beg your pardon. But yeah, so that's been going on. Um, I've been working. If you guys don't know, I've got a nine to five job that pays me bills. So I've just been doing that. We've had we have to go into the office like two days a week. So I'm also filtering that into my life. Um, I'm still doing, like I said, content on TikTok and Instagram, but it's just like quick, fast-paced TikTok. Eee! It's just fast-paced content that I don't have to think about. This is the problem with YouTube and like my po my podcast. I feel like I need like a whole. If you guys see this setup at the moment, like I've got lights, I've got a mic, I've got a mic on me. You have the head, there's headphones here. There's a blue light on the side. It's just a lot, and. Like I said, guys, when the kids go to bed, I'm either logging back on to do work or I'm editing a TikTok to go up the next day. Or I'm, do you know what I mean? Or I'm actually just thinking like, maybe I should just wash my bum and get in the bath and go to bed and go to bed for dinner because it's just, it's just a lot. So Lloyd actually said to me that I'm not allowed to come on here and complain, which I think is absolutely insane because I've got a whole rant channel. But he was just basically like, you need to focus on the positives and da 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 da. So... How are you guys? I mean, no one's gonna reply to me because I'm in the room on my ones, but how are you guys? How are things? I hope that, you know, you're able to keep your head above water because at the moment there's a lot, like I said, going on and it's just it's a mahogany, isn't it? It's an absolute mahogany, like the cost of living, just trying to stay healthy, just, I've been going back to the gym, guys, because I'm trying to get a bum because my bum is like an iron board. Even though Lloyd says to me, I've got a little bit of a bum, but I feel like as my husband, he feels like he has to say that. Um, but yeah, there's nothing back there in the bumper. There's nothing in the boot. It's completely empty. Actually, it's so empty that the interior of the car is out. Okay. And honestly, I am just trying to 
go to the gym actually more for my mental health because I, I say that I don't care about my body, but you know when your period comes around and you're just like, you're bad as, you're ugly. So I'm just trying to like mentally for myself get back into it and stay positive in the gym. Talking of the gym, I've been going on the Stairmaster. Can we talk about the Stairmaster? Let's talk about the Stairmaster, okay. The Stairmaster, I feel like the Stairmaster was created by the devil himself. Like, I feel like instead of climbing up to heaven, you should be going down to hell because that machine is insane. And I feel like I've started to get TikTok content of people doing it for hours, as in 60 minutes. As in 30 minutes plus 30 minutes is 60, as in 60 whole minutes. I don't understand. I don't get it. Now, I say that, but I do honestly believe that if you continue to be consistent on it, you can't, you become really, uh, what's the word? Fit. Yeah. So I feel like it's really helping my stamina um, because now I'm able to do 45 minutes, 45 minutes nonstop. Can you believe it? And I honestly believe that it's like watching a good series or a YouTube video or something, just to distract yourself from the pain and the hell and the suffering that comes with it because it's actually mad. And the other day, when I went to the gym, I had on a pair of leggings. Now, this is why it's important to actually face your front because I found a pair of leggings, some Nike leggings that I had in my drawer that were there since 2009, I'm sure. Um, and I was like, I'm feeling like I've lost a bit of weight. I don't know who told me that because I weighed myself yesterday and I'm sure the batteries must have been broken because the figures, the numbers that I was seeing, I said, oh, whoa, hoy, oh, whoa, hoy. And I'm actually eating ginger biscuits and a cup of tea for dinner. It's not really adding up, Riri. Think about what you're doing. Um, and I was on the Stairmaster and I had, you see how my train of thought went? It's given ADHD. I was on the Stairmaster wearing these leggings, right? Because I was like, lost a bit of weight, I'm gonna wear my, my night leggings, all right. And obviously they, they went on. And this is the problem is, just because something goes on doesn't mean they fit put in. Now, so I was on the Stairmaster and the waist of the leggings were cutting, <laughs> no, literally cutting into my intestines. And I literally was thinking, I'm going to, I'm going to die because I couldn't breathe because the leggings were so tight. And it's like, who sent me? Who actually sent me to wear these? Like, so that whole workout was me fighting for my life because I thought that I was skinny mini and I thought that just because something goes on to my body, they actually fit. And I literally had to check for, for like scars and cuts and blood when I finished off that stem muscle. Cause I was like, I actually can't do anything else. I'm in pain. And like when I got home, the the imprint of the leggings was was, stuck onto my thighs and I was like Rhea it's okay it's okay not to fit into your old clothes baby all right just buy some new leggings and I think that's what I'm actually going to do because the leggings that I put on today to go to the trampoline park had bubbles all over them and it's giving unkept it's giving it's giving nasty and the thing that annoys me about myself is that the kids always look good the kids are always in fresh track suits t-shirts trainers and do you know what i've got better with like making more of an effort even if it's just for the school run um but sometimes i do lag and sometimes i do like i'm like forget it when i'm like mentally on a roller coaster i end up starting to pull out those old trousers that should have been in the bin in 2001, okay? And the leggings that I had on today were an absolute disgrace. To the point where I looked down and I was like wiping them thinking, oh, these kids in the crumbs. No, darling, the, crim the crumbs are embedded. The crumbs, not the crumbs, the crumbs are embedded into my trousers. What is going on? Oh gosh, sorry guys. There are some young kids outside I'm sure one of them just threw a firework into another kid's face. Um, yeah, so it's just, yeah, it's just been a lot. If I've completely cut myself off, I'm sorry. And maybe I'll revisit what I just said. But if it comes back, it comes back. If it doesn't, it doesn't. But yeah, um, I've had to really control my mind lately with this whole like thought of like, where I'm supposed to be and that I'm not doing enough and all this stuff. Because I think 
sometimes when you do that, and I feel like especially me when I do that, it kind of takes away from what you're actually doing and what you've actually got going on. And I really think that we have to remember that everybody has their own journey. Everybody's been made differently and everybody's success looks different to them. Like you might be looking at someone like, oh, you could be doing more, you know, like you've only got 10K followers, like you, you should be doing more, da, 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 da. But it's like, maybe that person is happy with the fact they've only got 10K followers. Maybe that person is really trying to grow their page or grow their platform or whatever. Like you don't know what other people are going through. And I think sometimes we constantly keep looking at that number on Instagram, TikTok, whatever it is, or followers. Oh, if they've got a K next to it, or how much K have they got, da, 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 da. And like, what ads they're doing, all this stuff. And it's like, Sometimes you have to think that not everybody wants what you have and not everybody um, strives for the same stuff. And I feel like it says that in the Bible, Romans 12, 6. It says that we've all been made in a different way. Like we've all been given different gifts. And I feel like we have to really remember that. And I feel like it's not fair for ourselves to put that pressure on ourselves because what is pressure like? Where is that from? This whole like, oh, I need to be here, I need to be there, I need to be. No, you don't need to be anywhere. You need to be where you're at right now. There's a reason where you're at right now. And I had to G check myself a couple of times to just be like, Rhea, this is where you're supposed to be. Because if you was where you want to be right this second, right now, what would you be saying? I'm overwhelmed, I can't do it, it's too much. I've got too much on at the moment, all this stuff, all this stuff, like, it's a journey. You've got to give yourself some grace and patience to get there. Um, and just to stop looking at everybody else and what everybody else is doing. Because for me, I feel like there's no one really doing content like me. Like, I'm not even just being like, big headed or anything, but in terms of my rant channel, I don't feel like there's anyone that's doing anything like me. And I and sometimes I get a bit confused about where I should be placed. Like, because I don't do fashion content, really. I don't do beauty content. I don't really do lifestyle. Like, what do I do? Like, entertainment, barking on the, on, on, on the internet. Like, what do you, what is the category that I'm in? And I think a lot of the time, I don't know. It's hard because I feel like a lot of the time, like brands will, would probably want to work with me, but then probably wouldn't because it's the fear of like, the fact I'm going to say something that they might not like because I'm a loose cannon, you know? And I literally just say what is on my mind. Like obviously nowadays we've got to really like think about what we're saying, that we're not offending other people and X, Y, Z, but I feel like I'm quite an open book and quite authentic. and sometimes, I don't know, like when it comes to authenticity, what is that? Like, because I am honestly noticing that people that I, a lot of people that I thought were authentic online actually aren't. Like you meet them in person, you're like, you're actually a cow. You're actually mooing all over the gaff. Like you're not a nice person. Or you meet them online, they've got this massive personality and then they've got crippling anxiety when you meet them. And it's like, I also have anxiety, but I am very much like, if someone supports my videos, all this stuff, all this stuff, I'm gonna show you love. And some people, I know that crippling anxiety is not something that you can just push to one side, but I do also feel like you have to kind of match the kind of person that you are online because I don't understand how, how you can't. Like, I, are we act, is everybody acting? Like, is everybody honestly acting? So yeah, there's like a lot of like, work that I'm doing on myself to kind of like think about what I want to do, what I want to achieve, like what I want to achieve. Does that mean that I need a manager? Does that mean I need to do brand work? Does it, like what, where do I want to be? And I think I know exactly where I want to be. I know exactly what I want to do. And I think I have to continue to focus on that. And, I, and if you're someone who has an idea of what you want to do, then just do it. Like, it's very easy for me to say that, but if you want to do content online or you want to do this, you want to do that, like, honestly, I feel like we're in a time, especially on TikTok, where you can really just put out whatever content you want and your your audience, your audience will find you. Um, and I think sometimes fear just really holds us back, really, really holds us back to like start something new, um, revisit something. Like, even coming back on this podcast, I was like, I don't want to do this. Like, I've been, I've been putting it off for nearly 
six months, I say, like I say to Lloyd every other day, I'm like, yeah, I'm going to film, I'm going to film. And it never actually comes to light because I just don't feel motivated. And I just, I just don't have, I don't know, like there's, there's been no like drive to do it. Like, I just don't want to talk. Like I said to you guys, like you would, you would look at my page and be like, are you sure? But honestly, sometimes like I get random thoughts in the car, like, oh, I want to do a rant about this, whatever. But other than that, to sit down and to organise me chatting, it's not meshing. It's like oil and water. It's just not doing what it's supposed to do, dear. Um, so, yeah, like, oh, guys, I just, if you see me, take it as a blessing, you know? If you see me on YouTube, if you see me on, no, not really TikTok and Instagram, but if you see me on my podcast and you see me on um YouTube, it's a golden ticket. It's like finding a golden ticket in a chocolate bar. Honestly, be happy because, sis, just to get here has just been, it's been a lot, you know? But let's not focus on the negative. Blah, 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 Lloyd, blah, blah, blah. Um, I've also been trying to take better care of myself. Like I said before, like self-care. What is self-care? What is self-care? Because some people think that self-care is actually just washing your bum, especially if you're a mum. Like, you think to yourself, like, oh, I've had a shower today, like, oh, get it in. But that is basic hygiene. And I think a lot of people don't have basic hygiene. I speak about this all the time, that there's a lot of people just walking around smelling like soot, concrete, poo, just the list goes on. Things that we should not be smelling in the air. There's people walking around and just breathing it all out. There was one guy in the lift today that smelled like dog. Like, I don't know how that that's possible. How do you smell like dog? Like, how? And I know he doesn't have a pet, so I'm just confused as to... And it was wet dog as well, like, wet, wet, wet dog. I don't... I, I worry. And I honestly feel like people should pay a fine. You should honestly have to pay a fine if you're walking around smelling like dog, soot, compost, all these things that we should not be smelling in a the air. It's very, very unfair. Um... And lately my skin, guys, the way that I'm just jumping, but lately my skin has just been going through it. I don't know what is going on. Like, if you see, like, little black marks, just shush, okay? I've tried my best to cover it. I've tried my best. But literally my skin, like my chin, my chin has been breaking out like it's like trying to break out of jail. It's a joke. And I thought it was like because of the bedding. You know, like, when you have to change your bedding, really, don't be disgusting. But you know, like, sometimes when you're like, maybe I sweat too much on my pillow, maybe I need to change my pillows. I changed my pillows, acne still appeared, and I'm just confused. Like, is it, is it my flipping hormones? What is it? Because I've gone through enough in this life. I don't need this. And now, I've got all these dark marks. Like, I put the um, patches on, and still, it still turned to a dark mark. Like, the one here, no, the one on my chin was like a boil. It actually felt like there was, you know the borrowers, the film, I felt like the borrowers were living underneath my skin because I don't understand how that is possible for a boil. Like, if you saw my face, like, if you were sat next to me and you saw my profile, you would honestly be like, there's someone in your chin. There's actually someone living in your chin. So, I put one of those flipping tabs on, didn't I? Did nada credada, it did nothing. It did nothing, I was livid. So then it ended up being a dark spot. Then one came here, a dark spot. One came here, a dark spot. It's just constant. And I'm using that um, topicals. Topicals, my sisters always get onto me about saying things wrong. But topicals, the faded cream, I've used it before. It's absolutely fantastic. I'm using it again. Let's just see. But these, um, these dark marks are giving Sharpie. Like they're very, very black, very, very dark. And I just, I don't know what I've done in this life to deserve such a, such a, hate crime on my face. I can't, I actually can't, I don't understand. And that my diet hasn't been back, Rhea, do you eat veg? Do you eat veg every day? Do you? Answer me. No, I don't. So why are you coming to lie on this big, big, big podcast? Why are you coming to lie? I have been bad with eating vegetables constantly because I don't know, I'm just bored, just bored. I am just bored. I don't want to do it. Um, and there was a day actually where it was really, when, it, when the weather's nice, happily, I'll have a smoothie, I'll have all of these things. When the weather's cold, grey, disgusting, I want to eat 
ramen. I want to pour it over my head. I want to dip some brownies into it. I want to just eat rubbish. And I just want to be okay with that. But obviously not. Obviously my skin is saying, nah, babe. You need to remember who you are and you need to remember where you're from. Do you get it? Um, so yeah, I've just been struggling with that. So if you see some hackney, please just face your front, please. And if anyone's actually got any recommendations for things that I can actually afford, um, like Paula's Choice, yeah, I used to use that before. Like I might go back to using that. But things that you're going to be telling me that I've got to take out a mortgage for, no, no. Um, I just remembered that. I need to get diagnosed. Do I have ADHD or not? Let me know. Let me know because the way that my brain would just be like, fah, 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 and it's probably because I'm tired as well, doesn't add, and I haven't eaten dinner either. And it's currently, the watch isn't working because it's from Shein. Um, I don't know what time it is. No, it's 10 past nine and I haven't had my din-dins. Um, but I just remembered that we went to Florida for the summer. So, yeah, we went away for the summer, at the end of the summer holidays. The summer holidays had me hanging on by a thread. Um, the kids were home. Um, I feel like when the kids are home, they should they should be giving you like care packages so that you don't jump off a bridge because I don't understand how they expect anyone to, to, to survive. Six weeks, six weeks, are you being serious? That's far too long for me to have to look after my own children. I can't believe it. So the kids were home for six weeks and um, I wasn't doing okay. I can't actually remember anything that happened, to be honest with you. We were going out every other day because cost of Livy. Like, I don't understand who was going to pay for everything if we went out every single day. Also, the kids actually don't care where we go. There was one day we literally just train hopped, uh, went anywhere and everywhere on the train and then just got off and found a park and then got back on the train. Like, we didn't do anything crazy. But to them, it was like they were exploring Azkaban. Like they were literally having the best time. And I think that's so important with remembering kids is that kids firstly don't remember a thing until they're about 12. I don't believe anyone else who tells me otherwise. I don't believe it. All right. Um, that's the first thing. So when I'm, when I'm thinking of doing like all these parties and all these things, sweetheart, nobody's remembering a damn thing. We went away in August, at the end of August, right? And I said to my son the other day, oh, like, remember we went to Disneyland? He was like, no. Sorry, what? He was like, no. Like, puzzled. Like, I was actually lying. And I was thinking, this, my friends, is why you keep your, 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 your pennies in your purse. Because your kids will come and hurrah you. You have taken out a mortgage. You have taken out a loan to take your kid to freaking... Um, Alton Towers and all these places to make memories and I say memories like this in speech marks because if you're if you're listening on a on a Spotify my hands are in speech marks because memories are they memories are they or are they just moments where you just wanted to pull out your hair and make your hair go from here to the back of your ear okay because you're losing your mind because you think we're well, in such a magical place surely you'd be happy no just because you see it as a magical place doesn't mean they do. They will see it as, I'm hungry, I'm tired, I want to have a meltdown right here, right now, on the floor. Um, when the doors opened for the castle of Disneyland, my son started to scream and was like, I want to go home. As in, not home like the Florida house we were living in, home as in London. And he was like, no, I want to go, I want to go, ah, I like, and in... Me and Lloyd have got a picture together and it's actually like, it's like a live picture. And when you hold the picture down, you can hear him screaming and um, people were looking at us. And I was like, don't, honestly, don't worry about him. He does this all the time. And um, you can imagine a child screaming while um, Elsa singing, let it go, let it go. And I was like, let, like, should I let it go? Should I let it go that, that he's ruining this experience for me or what? Like. Me and Lloyd have already discussed that we should probably come back to Disneyland without those kids because it's giving ungrateful, it's giving cheeky. Like, even when we went to Jamaica, guys, they were acting like it was common butlins. They were acting like we were, we were not in places where people send postcards. You see those postcards where it's like, I wish you were here. We are there. Okay, we are there. This holiday wasn't 50p, okay? It was expensive 
more. I mean, low pay, don't understand my business. But honestly, my my oldest ate bread and patties for the whole holiday. We were there for 10 days, seven days, don't know. I don't have any recollection of whatever happened. But he ate plain bread and patties for the whole holiday. Did you hear what I said? We went to the water park. My guy just wanted to watch his iPad. So we turned him into the shade in the buggy and he just watched his iPad while we were in the pool. Like, are you joking? Are you joking? And obviously now that he's older, he loves it. He loves water, everything. He loves trampoline park and everything. But sweetheart, the memories that we made back then, you have kind of demolished, sweet pea. Um, so yeah, we went to America. Um, it was absolutely amazing. Uh, we went for two weeks. It was just fantastic just to be with. Because I went with my cousin and her two children. And it was just lovely to be with my cousin and her two kids and the boys were with their cousins. And it was just lovely. And my cousin is very understand. Like, my cousin just gets it. She is my guardian angel. She completely gets it. So when the kids are acting up, acting mad and crazy, she gets it. Like, I don't feel embarrassed. I don't feel like, oh my gosh, like everybody's changing me. Like, my cousin's just like, it's fine. What do you need me to do? So that was great. Um, and it was a good balance because me and Lloyd were also able to shop and do things as well. Like it wasn't just like kids, 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 kids. We, we had a good balance of like time together and also just me sitting and reading. And it was lovely. Um, I couldn't believe we had to come back. I couldn't believe it. And when we came back the day after, my oldest started school. So you can imagine it's been rolling, rolling, rolling from the moment we got back. Like it's just been constant. But... I loved it and we did so much shopping and we just got some really good deals like when I say that UK is bad vibes okay this is what I mean so we went to Tommy Hilfiger the outlet and got like shirts and jeans for like six dollars each Tommy Hilfiger did you hear what I said six pounds and if that was in the UK it would be 180 pound and they wouldn't offer you a bag for free do you get it like sweet pea it's just not it's just not it. So yeah, we went to, I said America so many times at night. We went to America and yeah, it was the perfect holiday for the, to end the summer holidays because we all needed it. We really did need it. Coming back with 5,000 suitcases though was a madness. Getting on the Elizabeth line um, with people who are rushing to work was a madness. But we made it and it's been fantastic that we're back. And yeah, sometimes you just have to go Back to reality, oopus be rabbity. Do you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? So yeah, so then we did that. Um, what else have I been doing? I mean, just, why am I doing off the shoulder? Like I'm trying to do sexy, sexy, put your fingers all upon me. Um, my, my inside thighs itchy. Sorry, sorry. Um, I've been watching like lots of, like, so I'm gonna do like a new segment in my podcast of like things I've been watching, uh, music that I like, and all of those things. Now, when I say music, I'm actually not gonna tell you the music that I like now because I feel like I just need to figure out the names of the people that I'm listening to first um, and pronounce it properly first before I come and embarrass myself. So, um, we'll do that segment on the next episode because, yeah, it's giving unculture. It's given, I don't even know what it's given. It's given like, are you a real person? Because honestly, guys, I literally listen just to Spotify, like, playlists that people make and then I'm like oh this is a nice song um do you know what artist I absolutely love actually speaking of music is Bella 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 I message her all the time on Instagram I'm like hey um I really like your music literally every other week I'm, I feel like I'm messaging her and I'm like uh I messaged her the other day and I was like um I've noticed that um you uh, have a, a New York tour, but you don't have one in London. Do you know when you're going to have one? Like a crazy fan. Yeah. Bella is a freaking goat. Like I love all her music, her album. Every album she's put out, I love. I know. Your own. God. Rhea. Um. back on you. That's home by Bella. Thank you guys. Um, I'm terrible at singing. There was a point actually in my life that I actually thought I was a really good singer. And do you know what? I'm a bit annoyed because I feel like I listen to the wrong people. Like my mom said I was tone deaf. 
tone deaf is giving jealousy. And I think my sisters were just laughing, but my sisters always laugh at me. So maybe I should give it another try. Like maybe I should just forget all the social media thing and just actually go for it and go to like X Factor and all those things. Because I feel like at the end of the day, if you've got the drive and the charisma, then do it, just do it. And I just said to you guys before, like forget fear. Let's actually just this year, let's, let's take it. Let's take it with our hands and really, you know what I mean? So yeah, that was, that was random. But yeah, what I've been watching is, um, I uh, just bit my cheek. Oh, sugar. Does that mean that you're getting really skinny when that happens? Because I don't understand. Wow. I've been watching Monsters on Netflix about the two brothers that killed their parents and whoa there, whoa there. It is very, 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 very deep. Um, trigger warning, it's got uh, trauma about SA um, and DV and just loads of, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's very, 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 very heavy and very, very serious. And I feel like we've been watching it, but not really like, taking it in, if that makes sense, because some of the stories, it's just like, what? Your dad did what? Like, and your mum did what? And your mum knew, and just, bro, it's just a lot. And do you know what? I've actually started to notice that I need to stop watching stuff that is really heavy. Like, I say this, but I still go go to do it. I still go to watch it because it's, it's guilty pleasure. I love crime. I love things that are like, kind of like gory and dark. And to be honest, I need to stop. Do you know what? I don't need to stop, actually. I need to just watch them in the morning. Like, I feel like when I'm, at, when I'm working from home, I usually like to have something on the TV or something on my phone, like watching something while I'm working. And I've been watching, like, Soft White Underbelly. Like, listen, I have been watching Soft White Underbelly from day dot. And when there's a new episode, I said, aha, that's why I was able to do 45 minutes on that, on that Stairmaster, because there was a story of Balamori where some guy, trigger warning, I don't know, I have to see, well, you always have to say trigger warning, was um, talking about how his dad killed his mum, right? And it was an hour long, and I could have literally stayed on there for longer, but I told you guys, I think that was the day when my leggings were cutting into my intestines, so I actually had to get off the Stairmaster before I jumped into a bridge. Okay. Um, so, yeah, I've been watching, like, back-to-back -back episodes on Soft White and the Belly, and it's very, 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 very heavy, very, very deep. Very, very, very traumatic what some of them go through. Like, if you don't know what I'm talking about, basically, there's a YouTube channel called Soft White Underbelly. I don't know why it's called that. And every time Lloyd talks about it, he, he changes the name. Today, he goes heavily underbelly. And I was like, you're, like you're, you're joking. Like, why are you calling it that? But basically, it's, it's a guy called Mark who goes around a place in America, um, interviewing people and finding out their story. So some of them are homeless, some of them are on drugs, some of them um, have experienced um, SA, some of them um, have like trauma from when they were younger. There's just so many different stories. There's like pimps, prostitutes, like just loads and loads and loads. And some of them are like therapy, like therapists, like marriage therapists, like. There's loads and loads and loads. So, like, if you're into um, being nosy and learning about people's lives, then you'd love that because you'd honestly find there's so much different categories on there. Um, but, yeah, I love it. I love it. And it's very, 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 very dark. So, if I watch it in the daytime, I will be fine. Like, I won't have nightmares or anything. But there was one night where I logged back on when I went, the kids went to bed. I'm rolling my eyes because... <sighs> And I watched like four back to back and then I went to bed and I had nightmares. Yeah, I had nightmares. And I was like, Rhea, like, this is why you don't do this. Like, it's not like something that is just like willy nilly on TikTok. He he he, it's heavy stuff. And you've got to be very careful about what you're watching and what you're taking in because listen, it will show up in everything else. So I'm learning to be better. Um, and also it can be quite triggering now that I've got the boys as well. So I just have to be better with it. Um, but yeah, I don't know how long I've been talking, but honestly, guys, I just wanted to come on here just to, to just give you an update and just to say that I'm back. And um, I'm going to do also a segment where I ask you guys to send in any questions that you have or any dilemmas. 
and I just love to like answer some of your dilemmas at the end of the podcast and stuff. Um, someone actually, a couple of people actually sent me some questions. Actually, um, where, where are they? Let's just find them. Okay. Right, my sister's a jar bag. Elise said, send Elise money. That's what she said on my question thing. Honestly, I just can't. So someone said, when will you make another YouTube brand? Now, I am planning on bringing my mom series back firstly. I need to change up the whole name. I'm going to do a complete new rebrand of that uh, in November. Um, and I have to say it here, because if I don't say it here, I won't do it. Or I'll forget. So... November and bring back the mum series. If you want to be included in that mum series, uh, please let me know, please. I will put all the information in the bio of where you can email. And I basically just want to talk to any mums that, even if you're pregnant, um, even if you, I don't know, like even if you're pregnant, um, was pregnant and you're not pregnant now, if you've like, if you've had a miscarriage, anything, anything to do with, Pregnancy, um, being a new mum, being a mum of two, being a mum of four, whatever. Like, I just want to speak to loads of different types of mums. And I believe that even if you had a miscarriage, you're still a mum. You know what I mean? So anyone who wants to be involved in my mum series, please hit me up. I really want to speak to a range of different mums. Um, and like I said, we'll be filming that in November. And obviously, if you come forward or whatever, I will tell you like when we film and all those things. You know, the professional stuff. I'll be able to do that for you. Um, so I'm bringing that back. Um, and what was I going to say? Oh my gosh. Yeah, YouTube. Um, I want to come back and run on YouTube. Yes, for sure. For sure, for sure, for sure. Um, I just have to filter in time. And the thing is, I think, now that the boys are both in school together, because my youngest is also in the nursery of my oldest son's school, if that makes sense. So they're a year apart, basically. Um, in school, uh, it's a bit easier for me to kind of like have some time to film content. So now that they're both in the same place at the same time, Monday to Friday, I can kind of focus more on content and everything. Um, it was very all over the place because my youngest... I took my youngest out of his nursery um, before summer, so he was home a lot. And then my oldest was on ho summer holiday, so he was home. So it was just a lot of like, everything was everywhere, do you know what I mean? And then like I said, I had to go back into the office, so it's all of that. But now that things are calming down a bit, I feel like I'm really going to be able to concentrate on what I want to do with my content, my channel, and all them things there. Um, I really want to do lookbooks as well. I'm trying to get Lloyd to do a lookbook with me. And I keep asking him when he's going to do it. And he's like, yeah, I want to do it. But honestly, I want to do a lookbook with Lloyd. There's just loads of things that I want to do. Okay. So I will be back on YouTube for sure. Um, and I will be back like posting content regularly. I'm really trying to just get on my Zoom. Um, mentally, I've been going through it, guys. And I just haven't wanted, like I said, I've probably said this 400 times. I just haven't wanted to talk about like, woe is me, like, oh, I'm going for it, because there's loads of people going for it, and sometimes for me, like, I know I'm going for it, but I just have to keep going, because I've got kids, firstly, secondly, that does me no good, like, moping in it, all of that stuff, does me no good, so I've just been learning to just pray on it, give it to God, tell God, babe, I can't carry this, it's too heavy for me, can you just sling it out, and also just knowing that, like, I don't have the control over my life, God does, so once you know that, you know what I mean? So, yeah, so someone said about content. Um, uh, someone also said, how are you? I'm okay. I am all right. I'm, yeah, I'm all right. Like, I have my days. I feel like my period is coming, so it's just been um, a lot, you know? Um, so, yeah, it's just been a lot uh someone said how are the kids the kids are always great um yeah the kids are always great the kids are always great like i said i've got a five-year-old and a three-year-old now i didn't say that already but i've got a five-year-old and a three-year-old and i don't understand how or when or the fact that someone's put me in charge i'm confused i'm actually confused as in 
you know what, was, what really confused me the other day? Yesterday, when I was filling in my son's card for his birthday, I was like, happy birthday to that. Then I was like, mum and dad. And when I was writing mum, I was like, lol, lolin. Like, I'm not writing Rhea, mum and dad. Who are those two? Okay, because are they Rhea and Lloyd? I feel like me and Lloyd are still 15. Like, I just, I'm confused as to who put us in charge and the fact that we're actually adults. Adults, because the adults of today are not adulting like they're adulting my mum's years my mum's generation um i feel like we're all just walking around just trying to figure it out trying to figure it out and age doesn't mean anything either you know just because you're 45 doesn't mean you have your ish together more than a freaking 35 year old you get it um uh that was basically it because i asked the question um, I asked the question literally five minutes before I was about to film, so I don't think anyone's sent me anything. Um, yeah. So that's it, guys. I just wanted to come and check in with you guys. Um, I cut all my hair again. Did I have braids in my... I don't know. But I had braids for a bit as well. Um, cut all my hair off again because I was mentally going through it and just wanting just to be free. Like, before we went away, I was like, I don't want braids on holiday. I don't want to do it. I can't be bothered. So I just cut all my hair off, like, to the bone, like, balls. And I was just like, honestly, I can't with you. So it's growing back. Um, I'm, like, sporting this, like, short pixie look at the moment. And I'm loving it. And, yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do with my hair, like, going forward. I don't know. And I love that. I love that I can just do whatever I want to my hair because it's my hair. And I think... Sometimes you kind of feel like you have to have your hair a certain way to please other people. Brethren, I couldn't care less. If I want to wear a wig tomorrow, I'll put a wig on. If I want to shave it all down to being bald again, I'll do that. If I want to grow braids, I'll do that. Like everything has got to do with moi, moi, moi and what works for me. And at the moment, this is working for me. So yeah, I love you guys. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you so much for showing me love because there's still so many people that show me so much love and one message that I want to say, and this is another thing that I'm going to start doing at the end of my podcast, is to leave you with a message. And the message for this week is to be kind. To be kind. It doesn't cost to be kind. And to also remember that everybody, like I said earlier, is going through their own journey. And success looks different to everybody. And also, you are no better off just because you have X, Y, Z. Okay? Love you guys. Bye. Peace to the middle of the east. Where is that from? Anyway, I'm going to drink my tea. I'm going to actually have, I'm going to go. Okay, good night. Mm -hmm.